Welcome to another episode of Success Strategies Africa. We are here to inspire, to be example to many SMEs that are struggling out there. Today we shall be talking to Innocent, CEO and founder of Skyboys, uh, aircrafts, aeroplanes. You know, if he can do it, another person can do it. So welcome Mr. Innocent to the show for today. By Innocent Mugabe, I'm, uh, I'm one of the innovators designing airplanes in Uganda and Africa. Mugabe a designer of Skyboy, so we want to know what Skyboy does. Uh, Skyboy, Skyboy began in 2014-2015 uh, with our with our we first designed drones then we later on we decided to do something bigger than that. So we made our first plane and uh, later last year we decided to build another baby and it's this airplane seated behind here so we are trying to finish up with it then i think we shall be beginning on another one soon so what inspired you to start building the airplanes you have just told us that you started with the, the drones what inspired you to do this what is that why airplanes uh, since when i was young at the age of eight years one time uh, I visited some airfield called uh, Kakila. So I saw the airplanes flying and I was like, one time I want to be one of the people making such and fly it on my own. So later on we made our first airplanes, some kind of like more of amateur ones. But uh, when I grew up, that's uh, around uh, 2000, 2012. I decided to have, I started having an idea to build something more advanced and better than what we, we used to do when we are still kids. So that's where the first plane was born and the first drones. In 2014, did you have a mentor that mentored you uh, to go into this journey? I grew up with uh, my late dad. He was more of uh, a mechanical engineer. He used to work with machines. So really, I learned a lot from that. So, and he always, even though he was not uh, like a profession in aeronautics, but he had wide knowledge with mechanics and electronics. So since uh, the age of five, I got to learn about ele electronics, like mechanics and other things to do with computer systems. So that's where most of the times I got the knowledge from and he tried to, even though he was not so financially stable, but uh, at least he tried to give me what he could in his hands. Success Strategies Africa, mm -hmm. personally, on a personal level, do you still need mentors out there to help you scale up yourself so that you will continue doing this for the sake of uh, people in the ghetto because you are in the ghetto yourself yeah. here? You still need outside mentors to come and mentor you so that you make these things better for the sake of the community around you. Do you still need mentors out there? I love that and more of uh, more professions in um, aeronautics and to do with uh, aircraft, aircraft design, structure and, and all that. Because really, you know, things to do with uh, airplanes and mechanics, they never end knowledge. There is a lot of knowledge. So you can't have one person to hold you and I, I would have wanted more of, uh, meet more professions than me because I know they are bigger brains than me that side. So I would love the idea to meet more mentors on that in aeronautics and engineering. Uh, thank you very much. This is Success Strategies Africa and we are here to inspire, we are here to share the story of one successful SME who has built this. He, he didn't have a rich father, but he had a passion, he got that vision, he saw what he was, his father was doing and he decided to take the journey. So to the mentors outside there, to the people supporting Success Strategies Africa, uh, we are here with the innocent, he wants to make this thing a big, he wants to, he wants to make thing, this very big and he wants to achieve his goal. To well wishers out there, you can contact us at Success Strategies Africa if you want to reach out to him so that he gets the support he needs so that he makes this uh, bigger, achieves his dream so that he will be able to impact other youth, other people, community people and also employ. Uh, employ other youth so that they uh, we create better lives so innocent i wanted to ask you what are your top three success secrets that you think other sme should learn from you i want you to be generally 
you'll be at a, a general success secret mm -hmm. that someone outside there who wants to start up something because you didn't have that well good background it's not about the money it's about the passion so what are these success secrets you can share with SMEs worldwide so that they will learn from you so that we we'll they start uh, scaling themselves so that they be better citizens to, to their economies and the world as large. You know most of the SMEs beginning like small business they think money is the main thing but uh, anything you have if you set it very well and organize yourself very well you can use the inadequate resources you have to begin something small because beginning with this thing on the very first time I began with the, f the first plane, I only had a hundred thousand shillings, Ugandan shillings. But that a hundred Ugandan shillings, it helped me start the, the whole thing. So I believe like, even though money is essential building such, but really, even like the knowledge and organization of yourself, it's also very important. And another thing, no matter what failures you go through, the main thing which keeps you, which keeps you different and successful, it's just keep pushing on because there are many challenges. To have something like a project like this running, there are many challenges you face. Some of them, most people think it's just financials, but there are things, there are different things, even health-wise, you may be doing something and machines just, just injure you. But what keeps you going, it's, you know, that love and passion and being ambitious. I think it's very important in whatever you do. Because uh, ambition and passion will keep you on your goal no matter what you're doing. So most people give up because they're just doing things, just trying to move with the world. So I think ambition and passion, it's very important to keep in mind. Something to show you, that means the success that we are showing you. I uh, yeah, highlighted three things, that is the passion, you have to love what you're doing, persistence, you only fail when we quit. You see, the senior himself has told us that you have to keep going no matter what. Let us not front money, let us pay keen attention to things and keep going. And I think this is a very wonderful example that I, I need millions of people out there to learn from him. He has highlighted three things. That is the passion, the persistence, and uh, what was the last one? Uh, it's persistence, ambition, passion. And the one, one other major thing, it's uh, what I realize that most of the times what is not on your side the time when there is a lot of sacrifices you must put in order because remember no matter what you're beginning even though it's a business a business is like a baby before it reaches somewhere you as the the one who is the father and mother in that business there is a level where you must be able to push in a, a lot you reduce on your sleep you reduce on your entertainment you reduce even on the spending because you must look at what you're doing. The more you're putting in more money in order to to run that thing, either it's a business or a project, until it's successful. Yeah. We want to know uh, your personal life uh, in a brief. Uh, what are the mistakes that you have made as a person that you wouldn't want any entrepreneur out there always trying to start something to make? Because I believe some of us, some of the entrepreneurs tell us that if they could, they could go back to 10, 20 years ago, they would have done certain things in a certain way. What are these mistakes that you have made personal as the person and you feel like uh, another person shouldn't make the same mistakes? I think uh, one most important thing, you must do enough research before you start on any journey in life. Because most of the times, if you don't do enough research, even though you have money, you're going to make mistakes and sometimes you won't have like, it will be already expensive and you, even time, you'll have lost time in it. So I think it's very important to do research before you do anything.
the most richest uh, African businessman tells us that uh, one of his interviews, he said he knows his business, even if he wakes up at the middle of the night, he's able to continue. So do some research. Don't do things because Innocent is building aeroplanes, so you should also just jump in and do the things. He has told us to do some research. Let us know what we're doing. I think passion is the drive to all of this. When you do something that you love, you can always find a reason to continue doing so I want I, uh, we, I want some we want some mentorship from you. How can entrepreneurs in Uganda or all over Africa prepare themselves for success to achieve this? What should they do to prepare themselves for success? Uh, one thing when you're preparing yourself for success, you know, most of us beginner entrepreneurs, we find ourselves that most of the times the first thing we think of it's uh, the financial bit. We, we do something to get money. Everyone needs money, but first and foremost, you must put that aside because uh, there is a lot involved. You must first and foremost build something, have passion for it, and really put in your all before you even think of getting money out of it. But you know, most of us normally, I'll talk for Uganda, that Uganda, when you look at it, it's the biggest entrepreneur country. But most people, when they start something, they expect quick money from it. So most of the times, in a few months or a year, if money is not out, they just give up. So that's why I encourage when you're doing something, first and foremost, you must, money must be a long time goal, not a short time goal. Yeah, that's why you find many people, innovators, business people, business people most of the times if they don't get money on the first blow they'll they'll give up perseverance always uh, pays us off with positive recognition so if you are preparing for success you have to persevere with passion just keep going no matter you know when you take long in a certain field in a certain place people will one day see you are your good deeds your effort that you are putting in place so i want uh sms to to learn a lot from him because he has come a long way from 2014 up to now and he keeps on going and to the uh people out there we are calling for for collaboration opportunities because this is yet a dream to be achieved if you want to collaborate with uh, innocent reach out, reach out to us at www.successstrategiesafrica on LinkedIn, Success Strategies Africa, Facebook, Success Strategies Africa. Let us support uh, the gentleman to achieve his dream. Let us support uh, him with mentorship. Let us uh, add value to his life. So if you are looking for an investment opportunities, Innocent is open to make uh, a, this dream a reality, not for himself, but for the community, for the people, for job creation, and for the economy and economies at large. So we invite you to like our videos, share our videos, and also uh, reach out to us with more uh, inspiring success stories. So, uh, Miss Innocent, I want to uh, ask you, how do you personally start your day in the morning? You know, uh, entrepreneurs uh, have tendencies too. Either you start by exercise, start by rescheduling yourself. Personal, I'm also an entrepreneur and I start, I wake up at 3 a.m. in the morning. I start by exercise, prayer, and I uh, arrange how my day starts. But what about yourself? How do you start your day? I wake up at around 3, 3.30. 3.30 or sometimes even like 4 depending on, on the time when I sleep because I normally sleep either 10 or 11. So when I wake up, have a short prayer. I won't say it's that long, just a few minutes. Then after I do a little reading because uh, I love reading books to do with engineering, business. I watch some inspiration videos for some few minutes, like 30 minutes. Then I begin my day around 4, sometimes uh, later, depending on what I've been reading, at around something like um, 4.30. At that time, I go to my workshop, start doing some stuff. Then at around something like 8, take a little bit of breakfast then do some other work because I do different, I do even other different ventures. So later on, come back in the workshop, depending on how busy is the week. Yeah. I believe most of the times uh, as we are beginning a business or even building on something, 
time is a very essential thing because when it moves, you can't leave it. That's why most of the times we find ourselves, we dedicate almost, almost 18 hours a day to work on things. Because most people, they work like seven hours, they feel that's a lot. But you know when you're beginning, you must put in a lot. And one thing you won't find easily, I think time is very essential. Once more, uh, this is Success Strategies Africa. It's an online academy intending to work with entrepreneurs, innovative entrepreneurs. We air their success stories. We, uh, we air their opportunities to collaborate. Uh, in particular, this is Innocent, the founder of Sky Boys. And if you want to collaborate with him, reach out to Success Strategies Africa on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, and www.successstrategiesafrica.com. Hey, as a person, what are you grateful for? Uh, first and foremost, uh, I'm grateful of the life God has given me because without life, all this wouldn't have happened. So every day I breathe, I thank God for that. And another thing, um, I just thank God because uh, normally, like, if you have a dream and you really follow it, God creates a path for that. And no matter what challenges, either physical challenges like social, political, no matter what, I think you get there. Because normally God does, is at your side and he, reach, he normally paves ways to get you there. Uh, to the world outside there, uh, if you want to support uh, Innocent, just reach out to us and uh, we shall let you access him directly as, as soon as you want. And when we are, uh, as we are winding up, we want to, uh, to ask Innocent to tell us what the, any message he has for the entrepreneurs outside there so that uh, they can learn from him. The thing which I have learned from, because normally I'm a person, one of the person who watches such, like more of inspiration videos and they keep you going, but one thing I, I learned from all that it's um, that most of the times uh, what keeps, what makes people different, the successful ones and the ones who are non-successful, that um, no matter when you gain all the knowledge, knowledge is potential power, but knowledge at, at its own is non-power. But you partaking the knowledge and using it, it's what makes you different. I learned that from some of the most successful people because I normally watch videos of people like um, the Aaron Musks, the um, more of, uh, there are a lot of guys I normally watch videos of, but one thing I learned from most of them, they, uh, they are people who, they, they have the knowledge, but they protect, they use on that knowledge. They don't just, because most of the times, if you have a lot of theoretical knowledge and you don't undertake it to put it in, into the practical bit, you won't manage to do something with it. So I think it's very important, even though you get the knowledge, but you must get that knowledge and apply it. You know, this aeroplane was built in Africa, in Uganda, uh, by an SME, someone who didn't, ha who da who didn't have a very good background, up upbring upcoming back background. Even you, anywhere in the world, you can do this. It's just a matter of taking action. For me, I believe success is is amount of efforts that we shall put one at a time. So let us learn to take baby steps daily. This gentleman wakes up at three daily and he does something small. He reads to add on the knowledge that he has. I think this is something that we should all learn and exercise. Just not learning, but taking action, taking baby steps. And I'm really very grateful. Uh, there are quite uh, a lot. Because uh, the first challenge, beginning some of the, some of the, the knowledge, getting it, it's already... It's uh, a lot huh? and quite advanced, but um, with time you learn uh, slowly by slowly. There is also more of um, machineries because the machines we use, the advanced machines, but for us we try to use the little machines we have to come up with something. It may not be the most perfect, 
but we try our best to use what we have, the available resources. And also acquiring some of the materials, it's quite expensive, no matter where you're getting them from. But um, we try there and there and acquire what we have. That's why we sometimes we take quite a long period of time to come up with an aircraft. But I think we would have been building one for around something like six months. But because there is uh, more of uh, looking for the resources, looking, looking for the money to buy the materials, so it takes quite a bit longer than that. Yeah, and another thing, um, it's more of um, more of uh, technical capital because right now uh, I'm working with uh, my four brothers. They started helping me with the whole thing. So, but um, I think it will be best like if we get more technical support on it. Not only financial, because people just look at the financial bit, but also technical support is needed for advanced things like this. Yeah. Yeah, so to the world outside there, let us support uh, Innocent achieve his dream, achieve his goal. If you're a mentor outside there and you feel like you can add up to what he has, you're welcome. Just reach out to Success Strategies Africa on various platforms. We are going to put a link underneath this video on YouTube, on Facebook, on LinkedIn. Reach out to us so that we can support this gen Let this story uh, be an example for the rest of us. You know what, the youth, that um, in life, what's really important is um, we all have dreams. But um, one thing that is, is very important, it's following that dream and no matter what comes, the challenges, uh, you must just keep going because on the way there will be a lot. But no matter what comes, keeping on that thing, in the end it's what makes the difference between in this world. Because uh, when we look at the world, we are many people, but um, with all of us, we need to partake in the building of this world to make it better. I uh, want to the world outside, I want you to know that uh, Innocent needs uh, support in areas of mentorship, finance, technical support, and then also knowledge. If you feel like you can pattern, collaborate with us, just reach out to us on www.successstrategiesafrica.com. Reach out to us on Facebook, Instagram, Success